I did not know he was going under a different name. That's why I couldn't find him. Okay. I know he was going under a different name. That's why I couldn't find him. Okay. to lower my in-game volume. All right. I think I'm good to go. Lower my in-game volume. All right. I think I'm good to go. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. I was a little bit late. We have game one. Mars Gotti versus El Trouble. Gal versus Dawson. As David mentioned a little bit earlier, this is a mountain for Gal to climb. But if anybody can do it, it's Mars. So even though this is just game one, round one, this is going to be really, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see, um, you know, the, the the pace of the match, how we how El Trouble sets the tone, and. Uh, you know, we're going to go from here. So what I noticed there is, um, we're going to go from here. So what I noticed there is, um, Kyle says, uh, I've ran a little set with David here last night, actually. And it was quite, uh, it's nice to be able to refresh a little bit. Um, you're going to see just Dawson just walking forward, trying to get to that sweet spot, using a lot of low, low limbs to try to go underneath Kyle using neutral jump fierce. Oh, what a, Oh no, he missed the sonic boom. Oh no, he missed the sonic boom. But yeah, so you know, for when I think about this match, like the biggest things that Guile has um is, is to be able to jump. Like if he if he's able to jump freely and get the three I'm surprised he wasn't dizzy there. But if he's able to jump around and take advantage of uh I'll trouble to throw way too many yoga fires. I'll trouble to throw way too many yoga fires. So folks in the in the um, in the stream chat there, X gamers are saying that they can hear they can only hear me but not you. All right, well I'll just go ahead and just do the commentary for now um, until we get the sound issues taken care of. So game one to Mars setting the pace early, and that's something that Guile's going to need is to have a little bit of confidence. Setting the tone, getting game one in, jumping in a lot, trying to go to for the cross up light kick. Get a match. One thing too from this range, want to make sure that you don't match um, any sonic booms with the yoga fires because you're gonna get back Mars is is jumping an incredible amount of time, and it doesn't look like El Trouble knows exactly which buttons to press from the different spaces there. So whenever Gal jumps towards Dalsim with the jump medium kick, um, you want to use back jab. And there's a three combo. I'm actually kind of surprised that he's not dizzying him. No, he's using a neutral jump fierce from that from that range, trying to catch limbs, trying to catch a slide. And he's just getting away with just jumping, like literally just getting away with murder right now. Jumping back, taking advantage of of El Trouble just throwing so many yoga fires and and it's just one thing um, for me that I just feel like it can be a, a good strategy, but it can also be 
a very risky strategy. You see, so he's just jumping around so much. Very risky strategy. You see, so he's and, uh, jumping around so much. And he's not really showing right now that he's knows exactly how to. Oh no, he didn't get the hit confirm on that. And there's a dizzy. Oh, he's not dead yet. Can't leave any meat on the plate because Dawson has a chance. Chip him out for the win with the super there. Dawson has a chance. Chip him out for the win. But both of these players, they're never going to give up. So if you give Dawson any chance at all, he has so many options to get around the booms by just punching. He has so many options to get around the Punching underneath them. He can jump up and drill. Punching underneath Nice back jab. Make him land on the yoga fire for an extra chip. But that's what this match is all about. This guile trying to normally under normal circumstances, guile is going to be just laming it out for 99 seconds and trying to gain a life lead with some trades. Nice back jab with the anti air. There we go. Now he's using the back jab. With the anti -air. There we go. Now he's using the back jab. That's gonna be very hard for guile. Really doesn't have too much of a comeback factor. The only really thing that he can do is try to jump in. Tied up one round apiece. In the first to ten, Gal versus Dawson. Now, one thing that I am noticing is that if, if Mars is continuing to um, to do an early jump medium kick, that uh, El Trouble could could potentially catch on to that. Nice trade. That's one thing about the uh, Yoga Fires there. If you try to match it, the Sonic Boom with the Yoga Fire, you're going to get back fisted because Sim does have such a wide hurt box. Controlling his face in the corner. No reason to really do much right now. That's what I was talking about there. If he tried uh, tried matching a Yoga Fire with the Sonic Boom, he could get potentially back fisted. Now, in this position, just just hold the ground. And there's what I'm talking about. If you're trying to match. Oh, Mars has a chance here. Ah, he tried to go for the throw. Nice drill. He tried to stagger that just a little bit and go for the throw, but he was just a fraction too late. Been a fraction too far away. All trouble is on the board. Bars with the lead, two games to one. So we're looking to see um, what kind of adjustments both players make. Marcus in the first couple of games here was jumping an incredible amount. Now that was perfectly spaced. If what he tried to do a neutral jump fierce and he was perfectly spaced where he used a low limb to catch him right there. Um, he could be using uh, fierce just like that instead of the jab. Crouching Ferris punished on the block flash kick. So he's, it seems like Marcus trying to gain some space there with the back sabot kick. Just finding this one little spot and, and just jumping over. There we go. He's going to try to do super chip out. Ah, there it is. He tried to do it the first time he did the drill. It looked like it was a missed input. Round one of game four to all trouble. Looks like he's starting to make the adjustments now and starting to slow the pace of, you know, starting to, to slow the pace of the games down. And that's what you want at Dawson, to slow the pace down, stay methodical, stay right at that little sweet spot. Marcus is looking for ways to try to, try to jump in just like that. Oh, didn't get a chance to, was just a little bit too far. What a great flash kick on the drill. Try to go for the staggered throw, but got counter throwed. Try to go for the staggered throw, but got counter throwed. Try to walk forward throw there. Nice crotch medium kick. Marcus is doing. Oh, there's a little bit too high with the drill. I think Marcus tried to do a super. Came out as a bazooka knee. Either way, he was a little too high with the drill, and he was able able to throw him. Nice back jab for the anti air. So it's talking about the trade with the back fist. One thing I will say, great throw, is that um, if you do go for a, you know, flash kicks, Dawson doesn't really have. There's the dizzy. Dawson doesn't really have too much of a way to punish unless he has a super. So if you do try to, you know, catch a limb with a flash kick as Marcus takes game number four, if you do try a flash kick. You know, you're just going to get hit with either a fierce, you know, limb or something like that. It doesn't really take too much life off. So it's not really that much of a risk as it would be against other characters. El Trouble starting off the rounds here with a punch drill. Poking away with crouching medium punch and crouching dab. Oh, got the throw. That was a 50-50 there. Not sure why he's choosing to do the punch drills. 
Nice crouch jab, the anti-air. Oh, that could have been better punish than that. Nice counter throw, L trouble. Great spacing on Dietro Fierce. Oh. Marcus missed an opportunity there as Dawson was floating down. L trouble takes round one of game number five. Nice back jab, anti-air. Missed the punish on the flash kick. Trying to space himself properly. Oh, Marcus with the jump roundhouse right into the throw. We'll try to make him block just a little bit too late on the boom. Trying to create himself some space. Nice jump in. Oh, missed the combo. What a great flash kick. A little shimmy, a little, little stagger throw there. I like that. Great flash kick on the drill. That's one thing about Marcus is uh, you can't test his reactions. Nice shot medium kick and try to go for the throw. I'll trouble got the sack throw. Got the three hit combo again. Nice. That's this, so he set him up there. So he he had been going for the blocked boom into the throw, the staggered throw that time went with the with the sweep. So he took a little step back. That's one way you know train your opponents is to do do show them show them one one particular setup a few times and then you can set them up for that. Be able to get the dizzy and close out the round. To close out the game. It's up four to one. I like that. Oh, there's another dizzy. Not quite dead yet. Nice for a combo. Close it out with the flash kick. Mars God is 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 feeling the pattern right now. The Yoga Fires. All troubles really got to figure out a different way to play the match. Just throwing so many. Oh no, that could have been could have been a huge combo. Just got the throw though. It's good. The jump medium kick is really. Um, that's another thing too is if you do uh, an anti if you anti air back jab and then you decide to throw yoga fire from that range and Guile can just chip out for the win up five zero but if you do a back jab from that range or even back medium kick as an anti air is awesome and then you decide to throw yoga fire to try to make Guile land on it your Dawson's recovery is so long that you're able to just flash kick freely when you hit the ground I'm gonna see what kind of adjustments I'll trouble can make here as it's quickly five to one in favor of Marcus. Nice forward drill. Flash kick. Going for the throw again. It's oh nice. That was the care cancel on the uh flash kick. I can see that. But a couple back so bots. El Trouble's gotta see this the pattern here where Marcus is doing two sabots or one back sabot kick and then like the automatic response is a throw yoga fire ah, i try to catch him with the super oh he's got a still got a chance that's what i was talking about oh made him land on the boom he's got a chance if you give marcus a chance he's never going to give up he's never going to get ah i caught him caught him trying to jump with the roundhouse nice 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 if you give if you give margotti any chance whatsoever he's never going to give up Nice back throw. Oh, what an air throw. Oh, no, we got the flash kick. I don't think, not sure he was trying to do that. Marcus is amazing doing these early uh, medium kicks and then getting the throws so often. Tied up one round apiece here. Game number seven. And Mars Gotti is up five to one. Scal versus Dawson match. This is heavily favored in Dawson's. Heavily Dawson's favor. Oh, we missed the combo. Oh, no. Mr. Standing Fierce gets the, gets the noogie. He's got a chance. Tried to float again. Not sure if that was supposed to be a roundhouse drill. Got the float roundhouse instead. Marcus closes out the game. It is six to one. Flavor of Mars Gotti is just putting on a show right now. Starts the round out with a flash kick. No fear. Neutral jump fears right into flash kick trying to catch him pressing buttons the back sabot just stuffing everything all right i'll trouble to slow in the game down a little bit still in gal's favor one more chip and he's getting with the jump jab one more chip and he's getting with the jump jab it's just taking advantage of poorly spaced yoga fires El Trouble's really going to have to like completely change the way he's playing right now. And it, 
Catch him with the sweep. Trade on the anti-air. Any kind of a trade is, is better in Guile's favor. Anytime Guile can trade with anything, it's always in his favor versus Dawson. All right. Oh, what a care flash kick. That's what I'm talking about. So right there from that, that situation, he was able to, to... Oh, no, one more hit. Ah, I got him with the sand around house. Nice. But right there, he was able to care a flash kick to move himself just a little bit forward so he can catch him the yoga fire. All right, we got the trade in the Sonic Boom and Sandy Roundhouse. All right, there we go. Good, good anti air. That's what you want. Clean anti airs. All right, do another trade to Sandy Roundhouse on the Sonic One Boom. Oh, nice jump fierce. Just a little bit. He timed that perfectly. Tried to catch the, tried to catch the jump forward there. Got him with the flash kick. Finishes the round. They can block Sonic Boom on a wake up. Frame trap him to perfection seven to one favor of Mars Gotti. What a performance so far. Like to see all trouble find other ways to space himself a little bit better and to to make the matchup tilt the matchup more in his favor by using the tools that he needs um, to make this matchup just a little bit more manageable because right now Marcus is just reading him so well. There you go. It's a nice with the flash kick on the yoga fire. Hit confirmed for the win. The jump short. Try. It's hard to tell sometimes whether that's going to cross up or not. So he's going to have to try to figure out a way to. Trouble two games now seven to two Marcus that there at that at that moment at the end uh, Mars Gotti had been doing such a great job making a block to bloom and getting the throw that time all trouble finally getting into reversal getting the counter throw Marcus is getting such mileage off that neutral jump fears finally there we go block boom and the throw again standing light kick to keep him in the frame trap. Great patience on not doing a flash kick there when El Trouble jumped. Oh, looked like that was going to be a forward drill into a throw attempt. So bot kick to beat the drill. The trade with the drill. Nice patience. Nice patience by both players there. Oh, and a flash kick. And he gets the throw to finish out the round. What a flash kick. Great patience there for both players. Mars taking patience to, to block the super. But El Trouble just sometimes just go, oh, what a... Oh, air throw again. Atomic. Upside down kick. Great block. Right. Wow, what a great throw there. Slide into Noogie. What's the setup? Nice. Marcus is looking for a flash kick opportunity. All right, Cell Trouble, just, just hold the fort down here. There you go, standing medium kick in the anti-air. So you just have to know, figure out a way where you, you just nice jump. Uh oh, wow, he's dizzy. Three hit, boom, stagger the throw. So hard, perfectly spaced, perfectly timed. Eight to two, Mars Gotti. This is definitely not what we had expected, but I'm not surprised because, like I said, Marcus is always going to give you 110% effort. I am using a headset, X Gamers.
Block boom and a throw again, trying to do upside down kick, and the slide whip gets the flash kick anyways. Round one of game number 10 to Mars. Just putting on a clinic. Jump roundhouse air to air. Nice back jab. Slide. It's got to be careful doing that slide right there because Marcus is going to catch on to that with the flash kick. Gets the Kara flash kick. Sonic boom to the suplex. Pierce, wow, what a great back jab on the neutral jump Pierce. Oh, flash kick, chip him out. There you go. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Wasn't ready for the uh, guitar port there and the chip out. Finishes the game. What do you say? Smars Gotti. Nine to two. Such a lopsided matchup. Uh, in Dawson's favor, but he, like I said, he's, he's never going to give up. He's always going to make it. That's the third suplex. Air, that's the third air throw. He almost got another one. Roundhouse drill in the, into Noogie. What's the setup here? Okay. There we go. He did it early enough. Marcus is taking advantage. Eugene is pressing too many buttons. Care cancel. Oh, nice tech. It's the only way he was going to survive there. Marcus is a patience to not throw. A boom right there. Just, yep, it's a bot on the drill. Just uh, putting on a clinic right now. So impressive. All right, starts with the torch and light kick. All right, space waited a little bit longer there in the neutral jump fears. Throwing so many yoga fires. Okay, he's knocked him down. There he is. Throwing so many yoga fires. Okay. It's far enough away, but now he's too close. If he throws one more up, he's got a chance. Good block. All right, Noogie, super with the chip out. Yes. So he, El Trouble is just a little bit too close when he's throwing those yoga fires to where he's getting the Kara flash kick on him. Sabat creates some space. Nice back jab for the anti-air. Again, there you go. Nope. Can't throw a yoga fight. You can't throw a yoga flame there. The back suplex to put him in the corner. Upside down kick. Dizzy? Yes. This is it. Got him. That's it. 10 to 2. Marcus. What do you say? So impressive. That's this. I mean, it's. It's speechless how how well he just played that and how well he took advantage of um, El Trouble just throwing the one too many yoga fires from the wrong space and getting those jump ins and converting. I mean, you know, what do you say? Just an absolute master class of a performance there from from Marcus. He took advantage of every situation that he could. And yes, sir, I'm able to hear you just fine. Yeah, me too.
Yeah, it was very fast. It was unexpected. I, I thought if if Marcus was going to win, that the score would maybe be like ten to nine, um, something like that. If if it was going to happen, not not ten to two. That's for sure. So it's uh, kind of anticlimactic in a way. <laughs> You expected that, right? Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll apologize on your behalf then to the stream viewers that uh, unfortunately, sorry, you guys couldn't hear David and we had the one-sided, <laughs> we had the one-sided commentary, but hopefully everybody enjoyed it and everybody enjoyed the match and, you know, hats off to Marcus for doing such a masterful job. And thanks to you, David, for hosting this and doing everything you've done in the community. So, so David uh, apologized to everybody for the audio issues on his end, and uh, he, he said he's going to leave the stream running as long as these guys continue to play casuals. Uh, so you're welcome to watch. I am going to hop off the commentary, and uh, so you guys can just enjoy uh, watching this match and watching Mars and, and L Trouble try to adapt to each other and figure things out. It's not, definitely wasn't expected for it to be such heavy favor uh, or such a heavy result um, as far as Marcus is concerned. But like I've said, you just, you can never count him out. He's uh, got that Philly fighting spirit for sure. Give him any chance, any opportunity, he's going to take advantage of it. And he showed that here in this match. El Trouble is finally, um, you know, finding the sweet spot here and taking advantage of the neutral jump fierce. Just got to figure out a better way to, instead of getting to this spot right here and throwing yoga fires, you just got to figure out a different way to approach him. Just keep harassing him with low limbs instead of, instead of throwing yoga fires. I mean, obviously if you're down on life, you're going to have to throw yoga fire to try to chip him out. But you know, if you're not down on life, there's no reason for you to be throwing yoga fires from those weird distances. And Marcus just really took advantage of it. So thanks everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, my name is Frank, and the video game community knows me as Roy Bissell. And I'd like to thank uh, David for taking the time to set up the stream. And thank everybody for watching. Take care, all.
Ahem! All right, well, guys, I think maybe things might be sorted out on my end uh, now, so we'll see. I'll just keep talking here. It took me long enough, but uh, anyway. And yeah, uh, like Frank mentioned, like I'll just keep this running as long as these guys want to play. Uh, I'll just keep going. Oh, Marcus has told me he's going to play till 20 and then stop. So, we'll, yeah, we'll go. So that's cool. So that's cool.
Ah, yeah. No, do hit. Do need to breathe. Um, that might be. That's probably that's the mic. Whatever. Um. <laughs> anyway, I guess things seem to maybe at least be a little bit better sorted out now at this point. So there's. Yeah, damn die. I do know that. I forgot. Uh, I had it. I flipped onto the Twitch page to change and make sure. Ah, oh, and I didn't actually get it. The name of the. It says SF2 Champion Edition. It's not supposed to say that. Anyway, I'll have to fix that. See, these are these these are all these things that you forget because I haven't done it for a while. Yeah, damn, I, I agree. There's only negatives. I just, I only just did it to quickly check. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I did forget uh, and go on that page to change to update stuff, which I then forgot to do. Um, I forgot that you, I forgot about that echo audio issue. So this is, I think it is sorted out now. Hopefully, I guess I apologize to folks that I uh, do require uh, to breathe. Um, but yeah, this is this is what we're doing. I can lower myself a little bit, which maybe will help with uh, hearing my breathing, perhaps. If anyone wants to jump into the uh, ST Revival Discord, you could join me, I think, on audio. We'll see if that's actually working now. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's what we're using, the ST Revival Discord. Yeah, it is. All right. Damn Dice says it's sorted. So it only took us uh, 19 games to do so. Now, when Mars said he played till 20, I don't know if he means... 20 battles or 20 wins for either side. It's actually a good question. I didn't ask him. We'll just see. We'll we'll know in a second if if because uh, they're they're on battle 19. So. Oh. Uh, observations on this. I'd be I'd love to hear people's observations for anyone in the chat. Maybe someone like Damdai. I know Damdai knows how to play Dalsim. Well, Damdai knows how to play every character, but uh, I know Damdai knows a little bit of Dalsim. It seems to me that there is Dalsim is, is getting caught with a lot of flash kicks and whatnot. Um, oh, hold on. Eugene lighted. Oh, no. Oh, okay, fine. 20. I guess he... Yeah, all right. He took that as... Th they took that as 20. Okay. So that's it. Yes, Josh. That score is right. I'm going to... Uh, I better put my some other text back there to distract people from that. Let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Text. Just ended. 